YouTube. We got my man Rocco in the building. All right. He about to cut it off. He about to step in to the to the, to the more professional look side of life. He about to change his game. He about to cut all of this off. He about to step into this wave world. All right. It's not gonna be easy. It's gonna take hard work, dedication, motivation, consistency, the will to keep going when the going gets tough and the tough gets going. You go. So we're going to be in need of a real large transformation right now. This is coming off, okay? This right here will be no more, okay? I don't need to keep procrastinating. We're going to jump right into it. But I'm just saying hard work and dedication will be needed to step into this wave life. The way that, see, the thing about the wave life is that it's not easy. You know what I mean? It's not easy. You need a brush. Do you have a brush? I do have a brush. He got a brush. Listen, he got a brush. Okay, and that's all all you really need is a brush, some grease. You got a do-rag? I do got a do-rag. He got a do-rag. All you need is a brush, a do-rag, and you got time? I got a little bit of time. He got time. All you need is a brush, do-rag, some grease, some time, and you got hard work? I feel like I got the hard work. I feel like he got the total package. He's going down. It's your boy 360 Jeezy, my man Rocco. Rocco, do you got an Instagram or something? Uh, yeah, your boy Rocco. Y-A-H underscore B-O-I underscore R-O-C-C-O. Listen, right here, right here. Stay tuned. Alright you guys, so normally I would tell you to pick the hair out, but instead I'm going to go and dive right in with the three guard open using my wall, cordless seniors. I'm just going to go with the grain, taking everything down. So when you cut someone with long hair off the top, um, you're going to notice that the hair starts to stick up and it won't lay down. So what you want to do is just do a light brush session and just make sure those hairs are laid down the best that you can. So my client wants a taper, so I'm going to go in and set in my bald line first using my Andy Slimline Pro LIs. Now what you're going to notice is that I'm set setting it in like in a rainbow like shape and you know I'm using my corners while I set this in and I'm making sure that I do it real perfect because that's going to depict how your blend is going to come out. If you set in a, a sloppy guideline you know your, your blends chances are is going to be all over the place so make sure you're neat as possible when you're setting in these guidelines. Now with the lever open, using my Oster's Fast Feeds, I'm gonna go up about an inch, using my corners, making sure I brush that hair down with the comb, and uh, making sure I keep it the shape consistent. Same thing with the one guard open. I'm just going up about an inch, making sure I keep the shape consistent all the way around. And you know, I'm not, you know, putting my blend in sloppy. I'm making sure that I go over it multiple times. That way we know for sure that it's at that one guard length. So with the two guard open, I'm going up and I'm just basically debulking at the top 
I'm not really setting in a guideline necessarily. I'm just, you know, trying to get that that area to blend in. I'll even close the lever and try to blend it in as much as I can as you guys are seeing right here. Now putting back on that one guard open, I'm just cleaning up that area between the one and the two. With the zero guard closed in a flick out motion, flick out that middle line. Keep in mind that the flick out motion is different from, you know, setting in your guidelines. You want to start below the line and flick to the line. And when you do that, when you do this flick out motion, it should be quick. You know what I mean? You shouldn't be, you know, doing it slow. It's kind of like when you draw and you're shading. Say you have a pencil and you scrape it across the paper real fast. That's basically the type of effect that you're giving when you do this flick out motion. So since the zero guard closed couldn't fully get that line out, I'm going to go back over it with the lever open. Now with the lever closed in a flick out motion, flick out that bottom line. Keep in mind as you go up, you want to adjust your lever. Um, make sure that you start below the line and flick to the line. So right here, I kind of switched angles. Um, I made it more visible so I can see it. And I'm just going to do some detail work. Um, as you see, I'm stretching the skin, um, using my corners with my Oscars Fast Feed. And, you know, I'm just cleaning up and de -vocal. So as far as the back goes, it's the same exact steps. Um, I set in my ball line, then I go from that, use the lever open, um, from the lever open, I go with the one open, then I clean it up with the two, close the two, uh, I might put back on the one guard and uh, clean up that area, then I slap on my zero guard closed, clean out that middle line, and then after that I might put on the lever open, I might use the lever open also and you know get with the zero guard close couldn't get then lastly I'll you know flick out that that bottom line keep in mind with each haircut even after you do uh, all these guidelines and steps you want to make sure you do some detail work use the corners of your blade um, even use some sheer over comb you know anything that you know can help you debulk cer certain areas and clean up your blend you know you could do it
this is the cut and if you like it make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button if you want to know where you can get any tools that you've seen in this video please check out the link in the description below if you like the beat make sure you go over to hustle dreams productions his youtube channel will be in the link description below as well otherwise Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. My Snapchat is GZ360 and my Instagram is 360GZ. But it's your boy 360GZ and I'm out of here. Cheers!